All righty. So today we're going to be doing the five steps to a conversation. This is a system for building impulse. You'll notice it's to a conversation, not a sales pitch. If I'm very pitchy and robotic, obviously people are turned off by that versus if I'm using a conversation and building impulse, okay? What is impulse? Impulse is excitement. Impulse is getting someone excited about something. So number one is the introduction. The intro. The intro is an icebreaker. Um, something like, hey, how's it going? Right, I want to be friendly. I just don't want to bombard someone, but, but be friendly. Smile. Uh, you know, use my body language. Wave from, from 10 feet away and close the gap. Okay, so I'm waving from 10 feet away. Hey, how's it going? Um, right, and, and how are you doing today? That's, that's my intro. So here I want to use my C factors. C is an acronym for smile. We smile because it's contagious. Um, eye contact, which builds trust. And enthusiasm, which builds curiosity. So a good intro has these components. A bad intro, lacking enthusiasm, people obviously aren't going to reciprocate well and aren't going to be excited. Number two is the short story. The short story is a quick who we are and what we're doing. So it's a short tagline. It's like a movie trailer. And it makes you want to see the movie. What if a movie trailer gives you too much information? Do you want to go see the movie? No, you don't, because you already feel like you know the ending. Okay. And so uh, here we use the acronym KISS. We want to kiss it. Keep it short and simple. Because more talk, more talking equals less impulse. So an example of this for, for Ready or Fresh. Hey, how are you? Did they tell you what's going on in Sam's today with the new service they're doing? No, they're having water delivered to everyone's house. There you go. Number three. Number three is the presentation. So here's, we use two to three key facts. Okay, not five to 12 key facts, two to three simple key facts. Ideally, we can tailor these two to the member, right? If, if uh, it makes more sense as to why someone might need a product or service. Um, we wanna keep the, pro, uh, put the product in hand when we can. Because if someone in, can, can see and feel, um, that builds ownership. And then we always want to stress the deal. So, so mention the high price versus the low price. I want to talk about the retail versus wholesale value. And use the verbiage dollars versus bucks. When you hear the word dollars, it sounds like a lot. When you hear the word bucks, it sounds smaller. So for example, on Sam's Club for Ready or Fresh, hey, normally the dispensers are $189 down the aisle. Um, and today, if your membership's eligible, you get the suspender for just a buck a month. Sounds very small, right? Number four is the close. What is the close? We wanna close at the height of impulse. So with the close, we're just assuming the sale here. Right? 
right? We're gonna bring a lot of confidence. If you think about a server in a restaurant, right? The intro, they come greet your table, short story, they tell you the specials for the day. Um, key facts, they're getting into the main you know, course. Uh, and then with the close, if they're like, hey, you know, um, you guys, you know, what else do you need, right? Like you drive through a drive through and they don't ask, hey, do you want anything else? They're like, all right, what else do you need? Um, you wanna supersize that, right? Or hey, you wanna get this on, uh, on the side, right? And they're just upselling, right? By confidently directing you and not giving you a yes or no option, but making it a yes, yes option, a buy or buy option. Now, if the customer's undecided, we ask qualifying questions. So we want to requalify. So for an example on Sam's Club Radio Fresh, a qualifying question, right? Oh, well, you did mention you do drink a lot of the water bottles and, and it, they're tough to lift and you have, a, have to go out of your way to the store, right? And they're going to say yes. So you say right, eliciting that re positive response that you want. Again, requalifying them as to why they need the product or service. And then you assume the sale again. Okay, perfect, grab your phone, scan the code, and uh, we can check to see if you're eligible. Or debit or credit, right? Debit or credit, grab your, grab your card. Um, which card do you normally use up front? Those are all ways to elicit a response that's always gonna end in a yes. Okay? And then number five. Is the rehash. So the rehash is introducing a new product or offer. So at back to our restaurant example, right? Once the main course is finished, does the server come up to you and they say, all right, here's your check? No, they say, how about dessert, right? Hopefully you guys saved some room. We got the best dessert in the city. Um, because why? Well, that's gonna increase their ticket and then their tip percentage is obviously gonna be higher. So the rehash is just adding on or you're in the fast food line. Okay, cool, you wanna supersize that, right? You wanna, for just a dollar more, right? And it's just getting more out of the, the individual sale. So to rehash properly, we need to be 10 times more enthusiastic or 10 times more excited. Okay. We want to stress getting multiples. So, oh my goodness, it looks like you actually get one more location you get del water delivered to and a dispenser for just a dollar a month. Who do you need that for? Right, so I'm not asking a yes or no question, I'm asking a yes, yes question and I'm stressing the fact that they can get multiple. I wanna show them the upgrades when that's an option. So what upgrade options they can get, confidently, right? Uh, I'm never gonna end in a yes. So when someone says yes and we go all the way through, I'm not gonna be like the server who never asks about dessert or never asks if you want an extra drink or whatever. I'm always gonna get two no's and go. Okay, perfect, so you got the service for your house, you're all set there. It looks like there's actually one more you can get in another location, who do you need that for? Right, and as soon as they say, oh, my mom, or my business, or whatever, I'm gonna sign that one up too, and then at the end I'm gonna say, oh my goodness, looks like you might actually be able to get another one. Who do you need that one for? Mom, dad, brother, sister, business, nephew, niece, um, and go through it again, right? And then you can keep going until you get two no's. Cool. So the last piece is showcasing these points on, the, on a graph here. Let's erase this. So this is the impulse curve. Okay, so impulse is like a roller coaster, right? As you're tick, 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 tick going up. Um, and then you launch back down, right, at the, after you reach the height of your excitement and enthusiasm. So number one is the intro that's down here. Hey, how's it going? 
I'm not sure if they told you the new service inside of Sam's. Cool, Impulse is getting built, short story, and you never have to lift the cases of water again. They're delivering them to your house, awesome. The key points, right? The prices of the jug, the, the, the delivery, um, the dispenser. And then the most exciting part, right, is, hey, in this dispenser today, before we leave, if your membership's eligible, right? See, I'm just like that roller coaster that's starting to slow down towards the top and they fake jolt you forward. Today, just a dollar a month. Boom, that's the height of impulse, right? There's, there's number four, right at the height of impulse and I need to close immediately. I can't wait, I can't pause. I'm gonna close, assume the sale, grab your phone, scan the code and we can check, see if you're eligible, right? After I say that, impulse is gonna drop, right? After they're, they're scanned the code, they're, they're buying, right, the, the product or the service, impulse is gonna go down, okay? After the sale's made, the rehash is down here, right? People might be thinking, oh, well, you know, I just bought something, right? If, if you go to a department store, you buy a pair of shoes, you're like, okay, I got my shoes, you know, cost me 120 bucks, you're walking out, and then they say, oh, sir, because you got this shoe, your next pair is 60% off. What do you think I'm doing? I'm going back in there and I'm gonna buy me a second pair of shoes, right? Um, so to revamp this impulse, I need to be 10 times more excited. So for example, uh, if I'm rehashing on, on Radio Fresh and Sam's Club, oh my goodness, it looks like in your membership, there's one more dispenser reserved for only a dollar a month. Who do you need that for? Right, and that's my enthusiasm that's bringing it up, right? And then if need be, I'm gonna do the, the key facts and then close uh, again and again and again and again and again until I get my two no's. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the five steps to a conversation.